Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be testing GeForce Now Ultimate Cloud Game Streaming Service on my ROG Ally. We'll be streaming the games over an Ethernet connection. I'm from India, unfortunately this service is still not available here with the Ultimate membership. NVIDIA will be assigning me a server based in US or Europe. So there will be some input delay in my streams. The input delay mostly depends on our proximity to the servers of the cloud service provider. For streaming games, it is recommended to use either a 5GHz band Wi-Fi channel or an ethernet connection i am using the latter airtel extreme fiber broadband connection 100 megabits per second plan before jumping into the testing just wanted to talk about the premium day passes and ads being added to the free tier of geforce now i'll start with the former premium day passes come in two flavors priority and ultimate with the priority day pass we will be getting all of the benefits of priority membership but only for 24 hours Per session is still capped at 6 hours, but you can start another session immediately after the previous session ends. I have tested priority membership before. The server had an RTX 3060 GPU. Streams FPS was capped at 60. Then we have ultimate day pass. We will be getting all of the benefits of ultimate membership. Again, only for 24 hours. Per session is still capped at 8 hours. You can start another session immediately after the end of the previous session. Ultimate membership servers come equipped with RTX 4080 GPU, allows us to enable DLSS3 frame generation in games that support it. We can stream games at up to 4K resolution, 120 FPS. Still no ads with both Ultimate and Priority memberships. Ultimate membership also supports VRR, that is variable refresh rate. Unfortunately, it only works with NVIDIA based GPU. My ally has a Radeon 780M GPU. Its display does support VRR. But it's not going to work with GeForce now. I was not impressed by the pricing of day passes. Let me just show you that. Day pass. Priority day pass costs around 4 US dollars. And ultimate day pass costs around 8 US dollars. I will try to buy the ultimate day pass. Features already explained them. Now I'll be talking about ads being added to the free tier of GeForce now. These ads were added on 5th March 2024 currently. They are limited to the US based server only. I tried connecting to the Netherlands based server of GeForce now from India using Proton VPN. No ad popped up for me. These ads will be shown during the waiting queue period. They are not going to pop up during the gameplay. Just to be clear, these ads are not going to reduce the average wait time for the free tier users. Nvidia added these ads in order to make some profit. These ads are not going to give you a quick access to GeForce now. The ad serving technology will collect some user information for the purpose of serving relevant ads. We do have the option to opt out of it, then only generic ads will be served to us. The only way to use the service without seeing any ad is by buying either priority or ultimate membership. Now I'll be buying the ultimate premium day pass. I am from India. This service is not available here, so I'll be using the free version of Proton VPN. We'll connect to any of their Europe based servers. There's Proton VPN. You can use any other VPN service as well. Just connect to any US or Europe based region. If this service is already available in your country, you don't even need to use any VPN. Now just click on buy now. You will be required to sign into your GeForce Now account. If you don't use a VPN, an error will pop up here that the service is not available in your country. I'll try to make the payment using PayPal. No idea if it works or not. Link to the site will be given in the description. There you go, load it up. Add a payment method. GeForce Now Ultimate Day Pass 1 24 hours of Ultimate Day Select PayPal You can also try using a Visa card Signing into my PayPal account Processing My PayPal account has been verified A tax amount has been added 1.44 US dollars Total amount that I have to pay 9.43 US dollars Let's do this. Money got detected. This is the final amount that I paid. Rupees 819. Very expensive for a day pass. On ROG Ally, just download the GeForce Now Windows client from NVIDIA's website. I'll give its link in the description. Click on download under Windows PC. Open File Explorer. Go to Downloads. Look for the GeForce Now EXE. There it is. Double click and install it. I've already done that. Disconnect it from VPN. VPN is not required in order to use any GeForce Now Ultimate Europe or US based server from India. This is the GeForce Now Windows client. Ultimate Day Membership active. Show you the settings. Click on the hamburger icon. Click on settings. 
first I'll test the network Ethernet connection got a latency of around 183 milliseconds that's on the higher side I can't do much about it not recommended for playing online competitive games single player offline games should be manageable select custom option under streaming quality these are the settings that I am using max bitrate set to auto resolution set to full HD you can see the different resolution options service supports up to 4k resolution frame rate set to 120 fps vsync set to adaptive via unsupported reflex setting enable display does not support HDR that's it with the settings command center setting I'm using a 15 watts profile games won't be running locally RSR disable CPU boost disable resolution set to full HD first I'll be running Alan Wake part 2 I've connected my Gully Kit KK3 Max controller to Ally via 2.4 GHz man wireless mode Epic Games version of the game, very demanding title, ownership is required in order to play it using GeForce now, supports ray tracing, reflex, there should not be any waiting queue, there you go, tap on allow, sign into my Epic Games account, game should be starting soon, running, yeah. Alright, we are in. I'll just enable GeForce Now's overlay. Just need to press Ctrl plus G keys together. There it is. I'll enable status this from here. You can enable or disable microphone. Session time remaining 7 hours 53 minutes. Yeah, in game FPS, stream FPS, and the real time ping 180 milliseconds, full HD resolution. I'll just minimize it. This is the standard layout compact layout in game settings kk3 controller is working dlss enable using its quality preset frame generation enabled all effects enabled using the high preset <laughs> let's go i'll even enable ray tracing using its high preset dlss reconstruction enable Max out the game. Get out. You can even use KK3's gyro. Let me just enable it. This is level 3. You can see it's working. Unfortunately, ping is on the higher side, 180 milliseconds. So I cannot recommend it. But yeah, gamepads built in gyro does work with GeForce now. I'll just disable it check out the input response playing a saga now I'm outside it's one of the most demanding sequences in this game thick foliage around me it's raining we are getting around 100 fps even the back grip buttons of this gamepad are working show you some combat better visibility now brightly lit areas are the safe zones in this game game is definitely playable even with a ping of around 180 milliseconds this is just insane maybe it's due to nvidia reflex being enabled taken and there it is 143 milliseconds performance is better in the indoor areas need to shoot at its core flashlight will slow it down his face oh no it's not able to dodge <laughs> running out of battery finally he's dead so 
excellent performance in this game. Now I'll be trying out another demanding game, Baldur's Gate 3. And just access the overlay. From here, click on Quit Alan Wake 2, your game. Steam version of Baldur's Gate 3. It should start immediately. We are in. Game is starting. I'll enable the performance overlay. Okay, just click on Get Started here. Larian Launcher. Select DirectX 11. Name of the GPU RTX 4080. Game settings. Full HD resolution. Vsync disable. 120 FPS. DLSS 2 performance. I will just switch to quality. Medium preset. I will just use the high preset. Enable DLSS again. This game does not support frame generation, such a shame. I'll straight away load its third act. Lower city area, very demanding on the CPU. Start the game. Game of the year 2023, it loaded up. Turn based RPG game, some amount of input delay is not a big deal. Looking around. Again, input delay is manageable. Okay, we are getting around 73 to 90 FPS. Zoom in. Playing as Kalak. Zoom out. Explore the area on foot. 56 FPS. <laughs> Explosion incoming. Observe the FPS counter. 33 FPS <laughs> increased up to 60 even GeForce now ultimate is struggling in this game this is just insane guys third act is so demanding 45 FPS but yeah the game is playable FPS is hovering around 50 GeForce now ultimate can't maintain 60 FPS in this game, third act. No one is going to use the medium preset with an RTX 4080 GPU. This is just insane. Now I'll be testing the next game, Cyberpunk 2077. GOG, Epic Games and Steam versions of this game are supported. I own the Steam version. Select your platform and click on play. Start it immediately. This game supports ray tracing as well as DLSS frame generation. Expect very high frame rates. Cloud safe status up to date. Click on play here. We are in the menu. Enable the performance overlay. Full HD resolution server location. EU Southeast. I'll minimize it. Video settings, FPS was capped at 60 by default, I changed its value from 60 to 120, make sure you do this. Resolution full HD, reflex enabled, vSync disabled, graphics preset, I'll just use the ray tracing overdrive preset, DLSS enabled, using its quality preset, increase the sharpness level, 0.3. DLSS ray reconstruction enable, frame generation enable. I'll just scroll down. Max out the settings. Apply. I'll straight away load the Dockdown area. It's a part of Phantom Liberty expansion. More demanding than the base game. There's V. This is Dockdown. Very demanding. Here we are getting around 120 FPS. That's really good to see. Just driving around on my bike. See the input response again it's manageable so 
there is some combat zone take a u-turn lot of non-playable characters here what's going on 100 fps engage in combat yeah, it's a first person shooter oh my god someone ran over me shoot this guy or I will break loose Eighty seven FPS game is still running smoothly. Oh my god, these tin cans not going to survive. Stored my health there. Throw a grenade. Someone is shooting at me from behind there he is. Excellent performance. You can definitely play the game. Even with a ping of around 180 milliseconds. Let's check the gameplay. End the session. The service ran very nicely on ROG Ally. 120 FPS is achievable depending on the game. Even though the ping was on the higher side around 180 milliseconds, the games were playable. The ping was high because I was using the Europe is server from India. If the service is available in your country, you should not be facing any latency issues. I was not impressed by the prices of the premium day passes. Ultimate day pass costs around 8 US dollars. In my honest opinion, it's very expensive. So that's it with the video guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.